Well, hello everyone and welcome to another MI Short here on the MI Gardener channel. This one might not be so, uh, as short as the other ones because I want to go through some stuff that um, is going to be moved during the move and I want to make sure that I capture the beauty now because I don't know how it's going to end up when it uh, once it gets moved. Some might not make the move, period. So I, I want to get this documented for all of you that have been asking about my tropical collection. Um, it has grown significantly. I'm very excited. I've added quite a few other plants onto it um, in the form of orchids. So we're going to go through those. Those are really cool. And then I have some other exciting stuff that's been happening um, you know, while you all have been away. Or actually, while I have just been not bringing videos. But um, I promise when we get to the new house, uh, we will be revamping the grow room. We're having a lot better lighting uh, because the lighting is not that good up there. It's it's kind of uh, it's limited to what I can illuminate. However, we're actually going to have an electrician come and put some different sockets in that we can have much better lighting. And then um, I guess we're going to put up some walls and uh, paint those all white to reflect the light. Different cool stuff um, in the works, but either way, we're going to have a much better functioning grow room that we had upstairs, and it's going to be better. More plugs, that was our biggest problem. Um, it's going to allow us to grow more plants, and it's going to be really great. So uh, check this out. Check out what we got going on. Um, I'm very pleased. And then a uh, follow-up episode to something that I'm going to show. Make sure you check out the next MI Short coming up uh, on Monday. Um, we're going to have, or not Monday, uh, this video is going up on Monday, and then the next video is going up on either Wednesday or Friday, so uh, in like two or three days. I do film some episodes together, um, and then I upload them at different times so that you all can have a chance to watch them. Um, anyways, long story short, uh, <laughs> I upload two videos today. I'm going to space them out so that you all can get a chance to check them out. All right, now that that's out of the way, um, I'm going to show you these plants now. Check this out. All right, so here we go. This is the uh, first kind of corner collection here. This is some of the older plants. Um, we have the uh, pineapple, which has just been taking off. This is just, I, I don't know why it has not flowered yet. It's going to be a beast to move, but we're going to move it. We're going to put it in the grow room. Just keep it going, and uh, it's, going, it's going to flower at some point in time. It, it will happen. Um, then we have another uh, tiny, tinier, um, kind of top-heavy one, it's not looking that great, but hey, we got that there. That's another uh, pineapple. Then we have our lime tree. This lime tree has been doing so well. It's putting out lots of beautiful flowers here. Um, we did bring these in. Uh, what we do is we grow these outside in the summertime and bring them in during the, the winter. And so they go through a shock period and as you can see, they drop a fair amount of leaves. A lot of these leaves have already been acclimated to the growing conditions. They probably won't fall off, but Older leaves that were outside and then brought back inside and then you know taken outside again, they just don't like that move and they'll tend to drop most of those leaves. Um, we do have some some limes forming. Um, there, focus. There we go. We do have some limes forming. Come on, focus there. Yep. So there's another little lime forming. I'll tell you what. Nothing smells better than this tree when it's flowering and um, we just uh, we just have such a great time with this. So then you have. All right, and we're back. Sorry, I got cut off. Um, I seem to film at the perfect times, uh, <laughs> either right when the phone rings or right when the grandfather clock decides to chime. And man, we have the loudest clock. I I hope we don't bring that with us because it's it's I've grown up with it, but I cannot stand it. It is so loud. Anyways, um, <laughs> back to filming. All right, then we have uh, the one coffee here. This is one that I purchased online. This was the first one that I started with. It's finally actually kicking around, putting out lots of new leaves, and um, I think this one might actually make it. Not sure. Now, the move will be a whole different story because these don't like to be moved at all. Um, then you also have the scented geranium. Uh, this is very similar to a citronella. Um, it's very, very similar. Smell that. Smell good? Here, smell this. Tell me if that smells good. <laughs> no, it, oh man, it's so citrusy smelling. It's just, it's all, almost like a lemony smell. Um, but it smells kind of like a mix between lemon and, uh, I guess maybe like lemon and, uh, like an orange rind, kind of. It's very citrusy. Um, then here, the new addition to the collection here. I'm so excited for these. Um, I have quite a few more that we'll get into, but these are my Catalea orchids. This one right here, uh, this already been, it's already bloomed several times. Great, great, beautiful, fragrant Catalea orchid. 
Then also I have this one right here. This is another Catalea. Uh, this is the Burana Beauty. These are so beautiful and uh, just putting out a new new set of leaves here. They're very slow growing, so they do require patience. Um, but uh, yeah, they're, they're just, they're awesome plants. So I'm definitely excited to, to um, keep these in the collection and, and uh, get some more added to the collection as well. Now over here, I have something that a lot of people have been asking about, and um, I am very, very excited that this happened. This is my, uh, this is my, my Christmas palm, and my Christmas palm has finally decided to put out a second uh, shoot here. We did lose one, we had three if y'all remember that, and uh, it's actually putting out another little front right there. It's just starting on the second plant. So we're gonna have a really nice palm forming here, um, assuming it can make the move, and we'll take We'll take our, our time moving these plants, you know, we're not gonna throw them on a moving truck, we're gonna move them ourselves, but still, some plants are really finicky when they move. Now here's the star of the show right here. <laughs> now, if any of you know what this is, or have followed this for the past couple years, this is my lemon. I grew lemons on this last year, we only had three lemons. However, this year, it got the clue to start producing lemons like crazy, and check this out. This is what's going to be in the next episode. We're going to harvest, and we're going to have a citrus harvest. Check this out. One, two, three lemons there. Four lemons there. Five lemon there. Six, seven, eight, and uh, I, th I think that's eight or nine possibly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, just eight lemons, but eight lemons in Michigan and uh, just check that out. Just check out how beautiful that is. In Michigan, and you got beautiful full-size lemons. That is just awesome. Now the next thing we're gonna harvest in our little citrus harvesting special is our, <laughs> this is our Kalamondan orange loaded up with oranges here. Check out all these oranges, just so healthy. And uh, it's just, it is just full of these things and they're they're almost like grape clusters on here we just have so many on here and they're delicious they're really really good and um, I use them in smoothies I actually just blend up the entire rind of the fruit because it's such a small rind it's really not that bitter at all and it adds a lot of that um, that really good orange flavor in there then the next thing we have is our winadellum palm the winadellum palm is actually pushing out some more some more fronds here, and it's really started kicking into gear. I'm, I'm happy because it was taking a while, but that's honestly the way it is with all palms. They start out so slow, and once they start producing energy with these leaves here, um, they just really start taking off, and uh, these almost formed almost overnight. They just shoot out like crazy now, and then as they die off, we just trim them back, um, and that's why you see all these trimmings up here, because as the, as the fronds die, uh, it will tend to push another one out the top, and we just clip it, and it kind of just keeps growing upwards. And then the last thing here is our other orchids here. Um, actually, oh, hold on, before we show those, I have another orchid here, and uh, this one is the most fragrant orchid that I have. I love this one. It is a, uh, a Militasia, uh, it's a seminal sand angel. This has a beautiful purple flower, extremely fragrant, and it, it's a very profuse flower. Uh, it puts out about, I'd say, maybe between 10 and 15 flowers, about that big around, it's so awesome. Then over here, now you have these, this one is actually in bloom, so cool, right? Oh man, that is so cool. Slightly fragrant, just kind of a sweet smell, really. Nothing too notable, but it's so beautiful. Um, and this is, uh, this is a Militasia uh, Tolkien. The variety is Tolkien, doing really, really well. This is another Catalea here. This one's actually just coming into bloom. It has a, it's actually in spike here. Um, and then this is a Militasia Morning Glory, another very fragrant orchid here. Um, and uh, slow growing again, but well worth it. And then this one is already bloomed. This one is the uh, Golden Spider. Um, this is another Militasia. Similar to, similar to these uh, ones right here, the Tolkien, and really beautiful, really spidery. Uh, I, got, I got a yellow, black, brown spots going on the flowers. It's so cool, so unique, and uh, definitely worth growing. So all right, let's head upstairs for a second. I'll check that out. All right, now you have another star of the show here. This is the coffee. I grew this from a seed, believe it or not, 
and uh, it has just been exploding with growth. It's about a year and a half old, and if we can keep this going, you know, it does not look too good right now. Um, it's lost a fair amount of leaves. It's just kind of drying up a little bit, and the leaves don't look that good. Um, reason being is we had it on the heater right there, and the heater was just getting a little too hot, um, and so I moved it down here, gave it a lot of water, it is starting to put out new leaves. The new leaves are looking better. Um, the glossy green, good leaves again. So I think we're, I think we're good again. Um, but that was that was a close call. Um, now the next thing is, is the move. Um, they don't like to be moved at all. So we're going to have to create kind of a uh, humidity, like a humidity barrier when we move to the new house, so that we can keep the humidity around 50 to 65 percent, because that way it reduces the um, the shock on the leaves and it will most likely be able to pull through it um, I hope so because uh, we're actually looking at this fruiting by next year if we can keep this going now we do have some some classics here this is the natal plum the natal plum is doing really well and uh, just decided to start growing again pushed out some more side growth there nothing really huge but it's doing well and then this right here is uh, another lime this is a key lime and the key lime had spider mites and I knocked it down to like a stump. Basically every single one of these things right here was uh, was a part of the beautiful tree at one point and knocked it all down. Um, and it's now pushing really great growth. So it's very healthy, very happy to be growing here and uh, and hopefully this thing fruits soon. It probably won't fruit you know, for a while uh, because of the fact that there's not a whole lot of plant there but it is a dwarf and it only is supposed to get about three feet tall, two, three feet tall. So it's getting to that height where it can fruit. Um, but again, since knocking it down, I'm not sure if it will. Um, now the next thing is the, uh, this is the prickly pear that I started from seed. It's doing so well and uh, and it just keeps growing. I'm not sure if we're going to move this one. Um, it, it has been with us for a long time, but I hate cactuses and I hate moving cactuses. They just, no. Um, so this one probably will not come with us. Uh, I hate to say it, it just, it's beautiful, um, but it is just really top heavy and I could honestly see someone getting spiked with it. And that's the last thing I want because these things are really, really, I mean, like, look at those spikes, man. Those are, ouch, those are big spikes. So probably won't take that. Now the next thing that is definitely coming is our olive. Uh, I love this olive tree. Um, it is so, so large and uh, grew it from seed. So very pleased with this, very proud of this. Um, I'm trying to get kind of a nice tree shape going here uh, by pruning it. I've had it fork several times and now I'm kind of training it a little bit. Um, I should have pruned it a long time ago, uh, but I didn't. So I'm just kind of rolling with it and hoping that it looks good in the end. Um, it is pushing out some some new kind of side growth here. So we're gonna see what we can do with this. Um, I love this, I just love this. So we're definitely gonna keep this and just wanted to update you all on, on how awesome this, this thing is doing because uh, it, it really is a fast grower. Once you get olives started, um, it just takes off. So yeah, so there you go, that is, that's everything. Oh, and also I uh, forgot to mention, I actually found this in the trash, believe it or not. I'm not a trash picker, but when I see a plant that uh, needs a home, I'll definitely give it one. So uh, this was in the trash. And so I picked it up and I repotted it and uh, it's doing very well now. Um, had some broken broken leaves and stuff. It was a little worse for wear. So I um, potted it up and, and it's, it's liking its new home. I'm gonna repot it again soon because it's definitely not in a big enough pot, but uh, it was all I had on hand at the moment. So there you go. There's another addition to, uh, to the tropical garden there. All right, so I thank you all for tuning in for this. Uh, am I short? Not so short, am I short? Um, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you all are having a great day. Um, have a great weekend, or uh, I guess at this point you, you're watching it. It's going to be, hopefully you have a great week. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you have a great one, and hopefully you're staying warm. Hopefully you're growing bigger going home, and I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.